So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you some controls on the inside of the car first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the coolant temperature gauge and fuel gauge. And above that, in the top left-hand corner, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 9,755. Beneath that, we currently have the trip computer being displayed. You can change the information displayed there. So you've got a settings menu, your phone, audio, satellite navigation, and then back round to the beginning, uh, which is the digital readout for the speedometer. And you keep going round, and we're back to the trip computer again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are on the right-hand side of the steering wheel just here. We have uh, stereo and phone controls underneath that. Stereo controls continue on the left, along with cruise control and speed limiter as well. Over in the centre, we have the touchscreen for the car. So you can go back to the home screen from here you'll be able to access your satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how this works on both our website and on our YouTube channel. You can also access your uh, phone, so you'll be able to pair your phone from just here. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then just follow the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to music, plenty of ways in which you can listen to that as well. Uh, we've got AM, FM and DAB radio. Bluetooth audio, so you can stream music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls. This car's also got two separate USB inputs, so you can plug devices into either or both of those as well. Working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo. We then have the air conditioning, so you can adjust the temperature, fan speed, and the direction of the air. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set here. And with a rear heated screen and a proper heated front screen as well. Beneath that, a 12 volt charging socket, one of the two USB inputs, a six speed manual gearbox, and then these buttons here. So firstly, this one turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. I have to turn that system off. You can turn the traction control on and off. And this one changes the driving setup of the car. So from normal to eco and then to sport. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.